will go through the pit layout commands in the surface mine module of Carlson under boundary. It'll first go through the pit layout by advance and then it'll go through the pit matrix layout. Two of the most commonly methods for creating pit or blocks. Initially all you need is a polyline boundary. We have two here in red. This will be pit layout by advance and then this will be the pit matrix example. And a direction line. So I'll do another polyline and draw the direction from where you want to begin the naming to the final pit name. So in this example I'll break it up into long strips and then I'll do more direction lines to cut, cut it up into smaller blocks. We'll begin with pit layout by advance. Select the pit polyline first. This is the overall boundary. And the direction line drawn from right to left. I will use a 180 foot wide pit. We'll start numbering them with pit 1. Increment by 1 so it'll go with 1, 2, 3. Put them in this new layer called pits. And we'll start the 180 foot measurement at the intersection of the direction line and perimeter. So it'll start right there. And I'll retain the original boundary just so we, we keep that. Hit OK. It wants a site name. I'll just call it advance since that's the method. And we'll start by naming them with the letter A for advance. So there we have the 180 foot wide strips. Now we're going to run it again on these to show you how to break these up into blocks based on stationing, for example. So I'll draw another polyline from the south end. And actually I'll go right to the midpoint. Ortho is on, we'll go straight up. And I'll just move it down a little bit so it extends through the pit on both ends. And then instead of doing a copy, what we'll do is just the AutoCAD Array command. And I'll do just one row and we'll do about 28 columns. And I'll offset that negative 180 to the left. Select the object, which is this, and preview. So we did about four extra, which is fine. I'll hit uh, right click to accept the array. And I'll just erase these on the far left side. We don't need those direction lines. So now I'm going to break these up into blocks and they're all going to start down at the south end for naming and we'll do about every 500 foot block. So we'll go with 0, 500, 1000 for block names. And it's the same command. You just run boundary, pit layout by advance. This time I'll pick those pit lines and before I do this let me isolate that layer. I'll do an isolate layer on that and that just to give us a little cleaner selection. Now that we have the array I will run it again. Pit layout by advance. Select the pit lines. We'll just do a window and grab the, the strips and then right away select the direction polylines. We'll start that at at uh, zero sub number, increment by 500, and we'll do a 500 foot block also. And we're going to do that from the start of the direction line. That way, it starts measuring up 500 feet at the beginning of this line. Hit OK. And there they are, the 500 foot blocks down the strip. And we'll give these a quick identify pit polyline and pick inside. There is A 1 0. This one is 500, 1000, etc. All the way over here we have A24-3500. So it's strip name, block name. And lastly, we'll label these with label pit polylines. And we'll label just the uh, pit block name so we don't need the site name. There's the label and the height. Let's put in about a 50 size. And we'll do a line so it should align it with the long axis of each block. Select the pit blocks to label. And there they are nicely labeled so you can see how they laid, it, laid them out. We do have the merge pit command. If you had any of these little small slivers on the ends, you wanted to merge into the next closest larger pit. There's a command under boundary merge pit. Let's say, for example, I want to combine you pick inside the one you want to keep and I'm going to combine it with this one to get rid of and then delete the old text and there's the new pit block
redrawn with the, the new name 18-2000. Okay, so let's go over to the matrix layout. This one is similar, it just needs the pit boundary perimeter and then it needs two baselines and cross lines and I've drawn these two black colored polylines over the top of the edge of the mine boundary and alt optionally you could have cross lines on the bottom something like that just to contain your matrix of blocks but in this case we'll just leave it alone we'll just go by the endpoints of these baselines to to connect up the matrix under boundary we'll run pit matrix layout the first thing you select is the mine boundary enter and then you take you you pick the two baselines but you pick them in order for naming so I want to start the cuts on the right and then advance to the left enter two cross lines I don't have any drawn so we'll hit enter for none and it's a four tab window we start by going um, with your strip width and let's go with 200 min max so we'll go 200 max and min across the baselines this will be the block dimension and you could put in like we did over here 500 on the block length or we could just say break it up into three equal number of cuts number of proportional pits I'll just do that so they'll be uh, randomly sized based on the length of the each cut and for labeling the site name we'll just call it matrix we'll do an M prefix with a dash or it'll go M dash one and we will also do separate blocks so it'll be M dash one one lastly we do want to include pits that are touching or clipped by the boundary there's the layer it'll put them in and it also will assign direction right away for scheduling hit OK and there they are and we'll just label those up to confirm they have names with label pit polylines label pit site names same size looks good I'll just hit OK select these pits to label and there they are M-11 M-12 M-13 so this concludes the movie on pit layout by advance and pit matrix layout. Thank you.